everyone, it's Rosin, and welcome to the first episode of my online matches series for Dragon... I almost said Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. Um, so, I love Dragon Ball, I love fighting games, uh, specifically I like games like Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Had a little bit of a Freudian slip there, I suppose. Um, and... You know, fighting games have been a genre I've always... Well, not always, but I, I have loved for quite some time. Uh, I got into them actually a little bit before UMVC3 came out, and UMVC3 was the one I clicked with the most. I really do like Versus Series-style fighting games. I love how fast-paced they are and how chaotic they can get. They're, they're just the ones that click with me and make the most sense to me, which is, I know, weird for a lot of people. Um, and hey, Dragon Ball Fighters is a fantastic addition to that lineup of games. So... I never really have been comfortable with fighting games in the sense that I've never really been able to put in the time to get good at them or really practice them. I got, I guess, kind of decent to some degree to, with uh, Marvel 3, but I mean, I never really was super confident with that. Um, but I think with Fighters, because I love this game so much and it is just so accessible, I thought, you know what, maybe this should be the one that I actually spend the time with the one that I take seriously and, you know, learn things with. Um, so, I kind of thought it'd be fun to make a YouTube series just kind of showing my progress as I learn this game and get, you know, not shit at it. I don't even want to say good, but, you know, at least average <laughs> is kind of what I'm aiming for. Uh, because there are a lot of fighting game YouTubers and stuff, but it's a lot of people that have been playing since they were a kid or just a lot of people that have put in the time and they start making videos after they got pretty decent at these types of games. Uh, you don't see a lot of people that kind of do that thing where they want to make videos of them improving over time and getting better. Uh, you either get the extreme of like, oh, people that are just playing and having fun casual matches and don't really know what they're doing at a competitive level, or people that are kind of, you know, at that competitive level and are really good and, you know, playing high rank games and stuff like that. So this is going to be me trying to figure things out over time. Not sure how fast or slow-paced that uh, skill growth is going to be. I guess we'll have to see. It's going to be part of the fun, though. So I haven't really been talking much over this first match, but uh, on the last character with hit here. So I'm running a team of Goku, Trunks, and Android 16. Uh, pretty happy with the team. Uh, not going to lie, that third... Well, I guess third character in the sense that... Uh, Goku and 16 I've always liked since day one. Uh, but the other character on my team, I've always kind of been wishy-washy on. At first it was Nappa, and then it was Gotenks, and now it's Trunks. Um, first day I had the game, I tried out a little bit of everyone, and for whatever reason, I just didn't like Trunks. Uh, but then I gave him another shot, and I actually think Trunks is pretty fun. Um, I really like his normals, I really like his specials. Uh, supers are pretty cool, I guess. Um, I wish his level 3 was not what it was, but that's eh, fine. Um... So, yeah, I don't know if this team is going to be one that I'm sticking with, but uh, you can see I'm trying a, a very basic-ass combo with Goku here. Uh, I have a lot of problems getting jump cancels consistently, and I don't know if it's just because with other fighting games I've played, I've never really had to do jump cancels, really. Uh, I have played Arxis games before. The one I got the most into is probably Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, but even that game I only spent, like you know, about a month with. I didn't really learn that much with that game. I got a little bit into Guilty Gear for like a week, but I kind of didn't play much of that after that either. So, uh, just kind of getting down the Arxis style movement, like jump cancels and stuff, is something that uh, I've been trying to get better with. I repeatedly fuck them up, and I either just, the second jump doesn't come out, or I somehow manage to do a quarter circle forward uh, special move. I, I don't know what my deal is, I, I just need to spend the time getting better with it. And it's it's one of those frustrating gaps, too, where I can do it consistently in training mode, but in an actual match, whatever the hell happens, I get a brain fart, and I just can't do that uh, jump cancel uh, as much as I'd like to. And the <laughs> guy got the nice level 3 on my tag there with hit. Man, Hit's so cool. I, I feel like Hit would be a fun character to learn, but he, he is definitely weird. And see, like, I, even that combo was a real combo. And you can see that quarter circle problem I have. Um, actually, I kind of forgot, but now that he's on screen, I did play Frieza day one. I was actually really excited to play Frieza uh, pre-release, but then when I got my hands on him, he didn't 
he, he wasn't exactly what I was looking for, for a type of character I like to play in these games, but I do think Frieza is really cool. Got him with a raw level 3 now, I was pretty happy about that. Uh, <laughs> that, that is one thing I guess I will give Trunks his level 3, is it's really fun to just uh, get people randomly when they're up close and they're just not paying attention to your meter. Uh, I don't think people realize uh, <laughs> how much range that grab has or how easy it is to get by hit by it. Um, so I don't know why he used Sparking there. I, oh, you know what? It's because he wanted to get Golden Frieza in. That's why. But we got a nice super there. <laughs> and, of course, 16 is a monster. 16 is probably going to get nerfed soon. Um, I was really proud of that overhead, by the way. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, Golden Frieza is golden dead. But he still got hit. And uh, I have problems dealing with hit. Honestly, I don't I don't know when I can like when it's my turn, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> I, I stop blocking that I just get hit again. So hey hit but bad fun So yeah, I definitely need to do that more. I, I honestly I haven't fought too many hits online It feels like which is odd uh, then again though. Um, I feel like I haven't seen many trunks online like I seem to be one of the few ones so unfortunately he's gonna get round two could have played better, I kind of choked a bit with that Trunks there, but uh, I, I do think early on here, um, you can see my rank, um, I feel like having Trunks on my team has been an advantage just because I feel like people don't really know what to do always, so that's been kind of interesting to see. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if I'm going to stick with him, I do want to try out, I, I don't know, I, I played Kid Buu a little bit during the beta, actually a lot during the beta, and he's really weird and fun to use, but I don't know if he's right for me necessarily, uh, but he's really annoying to deal with, and I love annoying opponents and stuff like that to uh, just, you know, get them frustrated and watch them choke, and uh, my team right now doesn't really do that, I don't think, very well. I mean, 16, just because he's so broken and, like I said, probably going to be nerfed, so <laughs> we'll see, but... Uh, 16 is very brain dead in a, a lot of ways. <laughs> like, I don't know. He He's just very easy to do well with, especially when he's an anchor like he is on my team. And for those of you who don't know, anchor just means uh, the last character on your team, kind of the one that you can rely on to make the comeback and big plays and they don't need to have assists or anything to do well with. That's definitely 16 in my opinion. So, yeah, just, I like to do that Goku special just right off the bat, even though I don't think that's probably the safest idea. Oh, he hit me with the Dragon Rush. Um, just because I like to get that first hidden just to kind of fuck with them, even if it doesn't lead into anything. I like to also do, like, Kamehamehas and uh, just the regular Key Blast for Trunks, just like a regular beam. I really like to do right at the start of a round just because you get that first hidden, and that can really throw some people off, I notice. So, and he, this guy's vanishing a lot and uh, hitting me with it pretty consecutively. I need to get a little bit better with reading that and doing something about that. <laughs> so, but there's a lot of things I need to get better at, honestly. Uh, I My execution is still pretty not great with this game, and I do think I need to get better with that. And he hit me with the raw level 3, unfortunately, so... I, I really hate the noises that Blue Vegeta makes, by the way, when he's getting hit, at least in the English dub. Uh, and you see right there, I fucking missed the goddamn... Um, I don't know why I did that. I think I accidentally supered and I just wanted to take in Trunks, so I 16 would gain life back. Um, but yeah, you can see I, I grabbed instead of doing the jump cancel properly, which... Ah, god, it's messing me up. But also, that sword slash lunge move is great. Uh, most of the time, that knockdown will let you uh, get a super off, but I guess my timing was just off. Maybe the three frames I had to play with that, but I don't know. That's the other thing, too, because I don't have anyone really to learn with in person. Um, a lot of, I mean, all of my matches are coming from online, and sometimes that's not the most desirable of conditions because, you know, learning some things in lag that work don't always work, you know, playing locally. It can develop bad habits and stuff, apparently, so... Maybe you gotta get a little bit good with dealing with that, but um, for now it's fine. This <laughs> is I don't plan to attend tournaments or anything anytime soon. I don't know why I didn't go into the level three right there. 
probably should have. But it's fine because we ended up killing him anyways. So because I'm an idiot here, I went into that. He almost dashed into it, I think, so <laughs> that would have been fun. Uh, one of these days I'm going to get off that 16 suicide super on uh, on one of these videos. Um, it's just a matter of time and finding a good one. People fall for it more often than you think, strangely enough. But yeah, I took the third game there with my good boy 16. So really happy about that. I wonder, did I rank up? No, I did not rank up from this. I'm currently Frieza Clan for what it's worth. Um, so yeah, and actually here I wanted to show off. So I do not have the greatest win-loss ratio in this game in terms of ranked matches. So I just kind of wanted to show it off here. I'm not that great at this game. I just wanted to get, you know, shown the numbers off for people that were curious. Um, so let's see. I don't actually remember this match as well as I do that first, uh, those first three matches we played against that one person. So, let's see. Oh, okay. Actually, now I'm starting to get flashbacks and remember this. So, this I was really happy with and I wanted to show this off because there were some really good corner pressure situations on my end, I feel. Uh, I mean, it could all be just me thinking that, but, you know, poking around with Gohan here for a little bit, father son sparring in the wastelands. God, the stages in this game look... I mean, this game looks beautiful in general, but I really love the stages in this game. I kind of hope that someone rips these assets one of these days, so that, uh, you can make some cool wallpapers out of these stages. That'd be, that'd be really fun, but... There we go. Okay. Do I get the... Yeah, I got the jump cancel that time. So there we go. That's what I've been trying to do. And then you can do the super from the hard knockdown. That's basically what I've been trying to do. Then you got the sword... And you got the sword again. Really happy with that. Boom, into the destructive KO. We're going into the fucking destroyed city. Really, really proud of that corner pressure I had there. But, gonna fight against Goku Black, who seems to be also a very, very good character in this game. I don't know what that tag was. I guess that he just wanted to get Super Saiyan Blue Goku in. I don't think he thought that would actually hit. But, I mean, he just used a lot of meter there in a not great way. But, I mean, hey, not like I'm any better. Um, so yeah, there we go. Let's see if I get this one. Nope, nope, but I mean, I got that, which is something. And I think he might actually... Yeah, there we go. So, that's actually... Oh, okay, that didn't DHC properly either. For D for anyone wondering what DHC... Oh, okay, that was, that was cheesy, but it worked. Um, for anyone wondering, DHC is delayed hyper combo. That's a Marvel term. That's basically when you do a super and then tag in your other character to do another super. Um, which I really like how it's handled in this game, because it's so freeform. Um, in Marvel 3, it was literally just the next character on your team. Uh, but in this game, you just press the assist button while you're supering, and it brings in whoever on your team that's alive. It doesn't need to be in a specific order, which is really cool. Let's see what I can get Trunks to do here. That, that uh, big power geyser type move is called Change of the Future, and it's really good. Um, you kind of have to dash forward to use it, though, unfortunately. So, there we go. Another <laughs> another raw level 3. <laughs> he used his burning there to regain all of his lost life before, but he can't do that this time, so hey. But unfortunately, Trunks is down for the count. I am back to, unfortunately, my Anchor 16, who I feel like I rely on as a crutch a little too much sometimes, so I need to get better with my other characters. I can't just rely on him, because... <laughs> One day he's not going to be there to support me anymore, I bet. So, and in general, too, I, I just feel like I need to get more comfortable with, you know, the whole of the team and all that. Uh, I, I feel like I'm going to just stick with the simple combos I know for now and then just learn them as I feel the need to. But for now, I feel like uh, it's just really a matter of me learning when to call assists and uh, learning how to get better with my execution, especially those jump cancels. Um, I don't know why I bothered doing that. I figured he might do something stupid, but, you know, sometimes throwing out the Hail Mary just for funsies. There we go. Let's see if I can get the full thing this time. Eh, I didn't jump cancel, but fuck it. Playing it safe. Don't know why he popped out there. I guess I just didn't jump, but we got the vanish. I don't vanish enough, I don't think either, actually. Um, I feel like I need to be doing that more. Uh, though, also, too, I don't know... 
I don't know if it's not that I'm not vanishing, or if it's just the fact that people that play this game at a low level vanish too much. <laughs> I need to look into that, I guess. See, that's the thing with fighting games. There's always something to, something more to learn, and it's it's just a lot to take in. It's a lot of research and time not playing the game to get better too. So, I need to get better too. With um, I played one match where actually I was really proud of it, but I didn't record it sadly. Um, and also I didn't for like I got the combo there, but that I, I was too late on the super so fuck me There we go. Yeah, I seem to be able to jump cast the more reliably in the corner for some reason I don't know what the deal is and oh, I, I was really happy with that overhead, too and Yeah, I kind of thought that he would change out So I just went for the raw super which I feel like there probably would have been something smarter for me to do But I'm really happy with my performance so far this match like I I felt really good about this, which is part of the reason I wanted to put this in here. Um, probably should have went for the overhead instead of jumping like that, but, you know. The fun has to end sometime, and it goes right into the awesome Gohan level 3, which might be my favorite level 3 in the game. And he unfortunately tagged Trunks in that as well, so he got a ridiculous 122 hit combo. Not fun for me. I saw that he was dashing in, so I just went for the super. That was actually me reacting. And... Goku Blue is down. Time for Goku Black. His Goku Black is pretty scary. Uh, it's definitely the part of his team I had the most trouble with. Now this, that was a good DHC. But yeah, unfortunately 16 is not looking in best shape, and of course he vanished out of the way of that, so that was a big waste of meter. Maybe I need to be using that a little less often. Uh, oh well. So, yeah, like I said, 16's gone, my crutch is gone, so it's time for me to rely on the other characters in my team. Uh, that Trunks sword uh, slash move, uh, you can't always... Like, you can't always rely on that for if they're dashing in. Uh, it does lose to a lot of stuff, more than you would think. I think it actually just looks more intimidating than it actually is. It's really easy to get hit out of. Uh, I just like it, though, because it goes far, and it, like, the state of, like, before he slashes lasts a lot longer than you think. People seem to get really uh, caught up in thinking it doesn't go as far as they think it does. But, gonna get hit by the level 3 here. Actually, Goku Black's level 3 looks really fucking cool, too, but I also just like sides as a thing, so. Man, I really need to get around to watching Super, but I'm rewatching uh, the original series in Z right now, so, I mean, it's gonna be a while before I can get to Super, but... And I drop that there. I, I Actually, that is another thing I do. I, I tend to accidentally super jump instead of... Uh, I just want to get Goku out of there. Um, I tend to super dump... Uh, super dump? Woo! <laughs> I don't super dump. I tend to super jump on accident instead of uh, going from crouching medium, standing medium into the air combo and just jumping from the standing medium. Uh, I don't know what it is, but a lot of times I'll just uh, fuck up. And I'll just uh, super jump, and that'll completely throw it off. So that's a shame, but still managed to win. Uh, not all of these matches are going to be ones that I end up winning. I want to show me losing too, because hey, you tend to learn more from losses than wins. But this is going to be it for the first episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one. I'm going to play more Fighter Z online.